Another interesting feature is the tone curve. If I click on the tone curve, I'm able to affect the tone of the picture by dragging in the curve rather than using these sliders. Now what you'll see is as I drag the tone curve around, it makes multiple changes to the look of the picture in terms of its light. And you can see that when I do that, I can see the numeric values of what's being changed. If I move the mouse over here, I'm affecting the shadows. Here it's the darker parts of the image. Here it's the lighter parts. And at this end of the tone curve, I'm affecting the highlights. I'm also able to alter the boundaries between these areas by using these controls down here. So let's say I wanted the lights to be actually a wider range of frequencies. I could move this around to do that. So I could say now the lights occupy a greater range, or I might want the darks to occupy a greater range, in which case I could make the lights smaller, but the darks bigger. And again, by clicking and dragging the mouse in any of these areas, I'm able to just pull these elements up or down. The tone curve window has some other controls as well. And this is the color point tool. And if I select the red, green, or blue channels, I can alter their tone as well. So I can warm an image up by increasing its red point, cool it down by decreasing it, and the same with the other color channels. So this is kind of like a way of split toning the image quite quickly. Now it's quite an extreme effect, but it lets you make special effects quite easily. You can see when I'm changing this stuff that the histogram up at the top here is changing and that's just showing me the different frequencies and strengths of the colors inside the image, red, green, and blue. If I click on the options menu, I can make the curves behave in different ways. I can automatically dial in a strong contrast or a medium contrast. So the tone curve section is a nice way of just quickly working with the light inside a picture. You'll spend a lot of your time here making either subtle or extreme edits to pictures. The light section is generally your first port of call.